knock knock it's the dog in today's video I'll be talking about a few characteristics of mine which make me an alien basically weird to Indians people of my homeland number one The way I dress represents a Muslim modest dress code. And so most people mistakenly assume that I am an Arab or not Indian. Number two, my education background is in a creative field to be specific, journalism. I did not go in the traditional way of most Indians travel on. I did not become a doctor or any type of professional in the medical field. I am not interested in anything related to numbers, so I'm not an accountant or engineer. And you know what? I'm happy with the field I've chosen because it's creative, perfect for my interests and skill set. Number three. This next factor surprises many Indians in my community, including all age groups from young married couples to uh, adults who are battling mid midlife crisis and obviously seniors. I'm single and I choose to be single and my parents are completely okay with it. When I am in Indian events or meetings, people sometimes go directly to how long have you been married or how many kids do you have? Shock. Shock? I'm shocked. And it's now my time and my duty to inform them that I'm not married or have any children or even pets for that matter. It's time right now for me to concentrate on me. And you could envy that all you want. Number four. I am someone who finds great difficulty in dressing in a very feminine way. I may pull it off, well, in some occasions, but if you ask me if I know how to wear a sari, wrong number. I might tie a sari or fabric around myself and look like a burrito. Continue. Instead of an Indian traditional looking woman. Number five. Another characteristic of mine as an Indian is that I don't enjoy spicy food. Last characteristic I have is uh, I don't know how to cook. I've made biryani in my lifetime a few times and that's okay. I'm not regular at cooking. I'm basically a princess at home. I don't really do any chores and if I could keep my own bedroom clean, that's an achievement by itself. That happens like every blue moon, but that's how my life is. And that's just how I roll. If you can relate to these unique characteristics and you're from a community that has set a few standards for women in its community, well, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe if you found this funny and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.